Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of real world number pairs. This is standard 3.5e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 7 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, see if you can work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it and we will look at our answers together. So we have a table here, and it's talking about uh, the batteries for toy airplanes. So a lot of toys need batteries, and they need a certain number of batteries per toy. And all we have here are, um, we don't have any type of uh, rule that's given us or any type of operation. That's what we need to figure out. But we're looking at how many, it looks like, how many batteries do we have uh, per toy airplane. So it, this particular uh, table here has our two elements, our number of toy airplanes, the number of batteries. They go side to side. So if we want to look between the two elements, we're going to need to look up and down because you always want to look between the two columns. Uh, a lot of times your tables are up and down, but this one happens to be side to side, which means we need to look up and down. So airplanes. So let me just put airplanes right here and batteries right here. So if we've got five airplanes and we've got 15 batteries, well, our numbers, remember, we're going to look up and down because we want to go between the two elements. So let's go from five to 15. That number is getting bigger. So since the number is getting bigger from five to 15, we've got two options. We can either add or we can multiply. So let's see what happens if we add. If we add 10, five plus 10 makes 15, that works. Let's see if that translates to our next one. 7 plus 10. No, that's not going to work. 7 plus 10 is 17, not 21. So that's not going to work. So if addition is not going to work, let's see what happens if we try multiplication. So we need to think of our fives facts. So we skip count by fives. How many fives are we going to need before we get to 15? 5, 10, 15. So it looks like it's a basic fact of 3. So 5 times 3, but here's the trick. Does it work in the next one? 7 times 3 make 21. Well, yes, it does. So let's see if times 3 works all the way across here. 9 times 3, does that make 27? Yes, it does. 11 times 3, does that make 33? Yes, it does. 13 times 3 and 15 times 3, those aren't necessarily facts. Those are, uh, you can just work those out if you want to, like this, like a two digit by one digit, but they do both work. They are both correct. So that's our rule. Our rule is we're going to multiply the airplanes times three to get to the batteries. But take a look at this. Each of our answers are actually being uh, talked about through the number of batteries. So let's see from the battery's point of view. So the number of batteries is equal to the toy airplanes times three. Toy airplanes times three. Oh, it looks like that's exactly what we did. So I'm going to put a question mark on this one, but I think A might be our answer. Let's look at this. The number of batteries is equal to the number of toy airplanes times two. So what they're wanting us to do is instead of times three, they're wanting us to do times two, times two, and no, that's not going to work because five times two is 10, seven times two is 14. C, the number of batteries is equal to the number of toy airplanes times six. So no, it's not going to be times six because five times six is 30. Though I just see where this times two comes from if you're going side to side take a look at this five to seven five plus two side to side is going plus two plus two so this is incorrect b is going plus two plus two across and the c is incorrect because look it's it's looking at times six but these are actually plus six across so that one's incorrect and then d is just incorrect because we know our answer is a